Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. Today, we're going to introduce you to the Busker. Triple cask, triple smooth Irish whiskey. We're going to show you three unique ways to enjoy the Busker. Irish Manhattan, an Irish sour, and of course, in a sipping glass. This video is sponsored by the Busker Triple Cask Triple Smooth, an Irish whiskey blend that contains a high quality single grain, a very high percentage of single malt, and single pot still. Wish you knew what each of those flavors taste like? That's fine. Royal Oak Distillery actually creates the blend as well as single grain, single pot still, and single malt. So you can mix and match and make your own flavors out of them or just drink them as they were intended. So the first in our flight will be using the tasting glass to create the whiskey tasting experience straight from the bottle. But before we do that, let's create ourselves the Irish Manhattan. This is gonna be, I'll give you the recipe, ready? We're gonna use one and a half ounces of the busker, three quarters ounce of sweet vermouth, two dashes of aromatic bitters, and a cherry because a Manhattan just, it just fits with the cherry. So what's the technique behind making yourself an Irish Manhattan? Ice. Fill it about, I don't know, wherever you feel. Usually it's about three quarters or less, half. Next, let's start with some sweet vermouth, three quarter. Couple dashes of aromatic bitters. The busker, ounce and a half. Then we're gonna stir. Now, before we actually stir, just because it's best for the cocktail itself, we're gonna set aside our coupe glass with a little bit of ice and water to chill it so that this nice chilled beverage doesn't warm when you add it to the glass. See, now you can buy all the products. You could taste them individually. You can become your own master distiller and blend them to your heart's content. I am lazy. I'm going to use the blend, which is what the master distillers intended it to taste like. And I'm probably not gonna make it better. They've got the experience, so I'll just sample their work. Glass is chilled. Let's pour this in here. Bourbon cherry. Outside of the sweet vermouth, the only thing that makes this sweet is the flavor profile of the Irish whiskey against that of the cherry, and you're good to go. And now let's work on our last drink, then we'll taste the whole flight. Another easy drink, we're gonna create an Irish sour. You could use egg white if you want to. We're going to refrain from the egg white so that we could taste these kind of in an unaltered state, very classic in style. So the recipe could be a standard golden ratio, two one one, two ounces of the busker, one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of lemon. I'm gonna tailor back the sugar a little bit because I find that the sugar could take away some of the actual spirit itself. And I'm an experienced drinker. I tend to not like things that are too sweet. So we're gonna do two one one half, with that one half being the simple syrup. One ounce of lemon juice. You're gonna find that there's a little bit more spirit in this because you're bringing in the flavors of freshly squeezed lemon juice against the sugar. So you're going to want to amp up the spirit a little bit so it can still shine. Ice. A little ice for our glass. Shake it up. 10, 15 seconds should be fine. Pour over fresh ice. You don't want to use all that cracked, half diluted ice. Done. Simple whiskey flight using the Busker Irish whiskey to create three different tasting experiences. All three, classic, easy to do at home. Great way to sample a product and introduce yourself to the beverage. Let's give it a try. Start with the most potent first and you work your way down. It's got like a little butterscotch, oak. Use a proper tasting glass for this so that you can get the nuances of it. Maybe a little bit of honey. A little sweet, a nice fresh cut oak. Still get some of that little residual honey, maybe kind of like a little hint of leather or suede. The potency isn't too bad. It's I would go with medium body 
it's a little lighter on the on the tongue. Not extremely bold, gonna punch you in the face with potency and craziness. Very well balanced across the board. I personally have a preference to a little bit more of like that oaky flavor. Um, I don't know, I, ju I just like the taste of, of the barrel uh, within the product and the busker shines in that way, for me at least. It has definitely, um, it's not over oaked, but it definitely has like that fresh oak versus, I don't know, more of the sh like people that put things in charred barrels or, or really heavy sherry cast barrels. Well, it does bring a little bit of that sherry nuance to it. It's not an insane, explosive, overbearing experience. Let's see how it works in a Manhattan. Get that vermouthy smell. With the Manhattan, the a lot of that, that the honey kind of comes through. There is still a little bit of that potency, but it's not too insane. It's not too intense either. Um, personally, for me, if I was to make this cocktail and kind of for for me, I think this is a perfect ratio for the average drinker. If you're going to try to experience the Busker for the first time, it's going to give you a, a nice play of the flavors against the vermouth. However, for me, I might even go a little bit higher into the two ounce and just go two, three quarters. But I might also have a little bit more of a flavor for or, or desire to drink Irish whiskey and a little less of a desire to drink sweet vermouth. But that's just me. Now, one of my favorite classic drinks is a whiskey sour. Although, the lemon after here, now that's something special. Take a couple sips, kind of get used to the sour. I'm telling you, this is like an Irish whiskey lemonade. For those that like the experience of a pool time, summertime drink, maybe um, maybe springtime where you're, you're looking for more of those sours. I personally am more of a winter sour guy, so this is the type of drink I like for the winter time. However, with the light flavor and that oaky nuance of the busker brought in with the lemon against the sugar, it feels, it feels a little bit more like entering into spring. However, it could just be because, I don't know, outside it's kind of entering into spring. I'm, I'm gonna fall someplace between drinking the busker straight and drinking it in the, in the sour. And Irish sour, Irish whiskey sour, definitely one of the favorites. So it's hard not to go in that direction. However, um, if you're looking for the true character of the drink, start with just drinking it from a, a tasting glass. Get the experiences that way. Oh, weird. Going back to it, now I'm picking up a little bit more smoky action. And that might just be from kind of going through the tasting experiences, the roller coaster, of, if you will, of the different flavor profiles. Uh, you'll get a little bit more of that smoky nature just based on the fact that there's that sour in there and the acidity is still, still kind of on your tongue. So now you have three easy ways to experience the busker. Go out, pick yourself up a bottle, about $24.99. Give yourself a pour, make yourself a Manhattan, make yourself a sour. If you've never made these before, you just learned three new things. You learned a little bit about the busker and you just learned how to make two more cocktails. Build your flight, sample the busker. Where can you learn more? Well, thebusker.com, obviously. That's it, my friends. We're teaching you how to drink.